everybody! So, I have decided to do a vlog live from Omaha, Nebraska. That's right, I'm currently in Omaha. Don't ask why. This is, this is it. Oh, isn't that exciting? It's the convention center. And uh, that's Omaha, Nebraska. So it's been an interesting um, two or three months, really busy, really crazy, amazingly busy actually. And I think what that comes down to is um, all the seeds that I planted when I first got here are starting to like grow. It's not a very, very good analogy. Let's just, just anyway. And so, um, yeah, things have, things have been really like kicking off and, and cultivating. So one of the first things that was really great, um, in November I did, um, a pilot um, for a TV show um, and we ended up doing some extra filming for that last week which was cool so that that was starring some uh, awesome people actually so I don't it's not it's not gone to network yet um, but who knows where that's gonna go I'm quite excited about it but it was just really nice to be asked to do a project um, by someone that I have worked with in early December I did this really fun hilarious web series called Vark Army and we were filming in Houston Texas and it was one of the most fun experiences I've ever had like it was four days away and every day was just hilarious and it's sort of in the side of Charlie's Angels so we were like these um, hot girls like getting out of Lamborghinis blowing up buildings running around stuff I mean it was it was so much fun and I was hoping it would be up and online but it's not ready yet which is really devastating but it was it was just amazing and I got to work with some brilliant people I've been bitten by a spider I'm in the Hilton in Omaha and I'm being bitten by spiders I mean I don't really understand anyway I digress what else has been happening also in December, I went to San Francisco with the Ingress Report, um, which is the show that I regularly do, and that was a crazy fun, it's always great working with them, um, experience, but I did a live broadcast for about four hours, so four, it was a really long time. And I was live, so check that out online. So I had some new headshots done um, in December as well by a woman called Joanna DeGeneres, who used to be called Joanna Brooks before that she got married. And um, I, I'm i really happy with them, and I finally got them up, and um, already they're working for me. So one thing I'd say about headshots is I've had a lot of headshots done since I've moved out here. So one of the first things I'd say is just, if it seems like it's a lot of money, go with it because it's better than it's better to spend the money once with somebody that you really like and you really want to go for versus going to lots and lots of different headshot photographers that cost slightly less but you're having to go with all these different people I've also been taking lots of acting classes lots of acting classes because I feel like um, it's really good to be in class Every time I feel a bit deflated or a bit, oh, I'm not very good or things aren't working or blah, 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 if you are acting, if you just constantly work on getting better and improving, then you don't go through those feelings. So every month I pretty much go to a different class. I'm being a bit of a class whore, as it were. Um, but for me, I think that's better because I've not really found anywhere that I feel like I want to stay. I don't stay, so I like ex like seeing different places. So. In November, I did the um, advanced intensive at Margie Haber's, um, which was cool. The classes were outrageously long, as in like six hours long, and I don't, I'm probably like a three-year-old in that I don't have the stamina or the patience to sit around for three hours. And there's a lot of talking and a lot of listening to talking, which, again, I, I'm just, I just... I don't have the patience for. I like to get up and do stuff more. Um, so I did learn some very interesting, useful things. Um... And I think that it could be quite helpful for somebody who hasn't like heard some of those things. There's some great things that you learn. Um, they've got beginners classes, and then they've got um, a, like advanced. I was in the intermediate, and uh, so yeah, I'd, I'd check it out. Um, this month, January. Don't know what that's about. This month, January, I've been doing um, a Meg Mormon and Sunny. Uh, boiling workshop. So they're casting directors and they do this really great workshop. It's like $175 I think um, a month and you do four classes and they keep the classes really small. There's about 10 people in each class and you're working with casting directors and so it's great to get, it's great to do class from a point of view of casting directors. 
Um, and so you're working on sides every week. Um, they give you their feedback. They give you what they like to look for. They send you links to all the stuff so that you can see what you've done. And it's really good. And you're, in, and you're establishing a relationship. This is another spider bite. Um, you're establishing a relationship with um, casting directors, which I think is brilliant. And they're really lovely people, so I recommend their workshops a lot. I also have been going to uh, Tom Draper, who is a guy that I started having private one-to-ones with a little while ago. And every time I have a, a, an audition now, like I go to him to work on it. That has been really helpful and really huge. And it's just good to, you know, I think you could just, if you have friends, actor friends, I think you could still just work with people and and, and, get, and probably do the same. But I think it's nice. I like going to him because it's, it's kind of more formal. It's like it's part of my process now. It's nice to have his point of view and chuck ideas at me. And it's, it's good to play with it and kind of think of things that I wouldn't have thought about. So I, I, that's been so beneficial. This month, oh hang on, so this month I'm doing Meg, Megan Sane's thing, um, but I'm also doing an introduction with Diana Castle on Thursday. I'll let you know how that goes. Someone recommended her to me, so I'm just going to check it out. So that's classes. I've also been doing lots of stuff with BAFTA. Um, I'm a BAFTA newcomer of the year, um, and I also helped out at the uh, BAFTA Awards Tea, which is where celebrities, filmmakers, people come who are nominated for BAFTA's, BAFTA awards and it's their opportunity to talk to uh, the BAFTA members um, so they can talk to them, you know, get and, and potentially get their votes. So I went to help out and I also had the chance to interview um, Kate Blanchett um, and a ton of other people. So what do the BAFTAs mean to you and what does it mean to be nominated for a BAFTA? I remember the first time I was nominated for a BAFTA, it was one of the most terrifying it was incredible, but it also felt really normal. And that's what I love about LA. I was in a room with Tom Hanks and Kate Blanchett and um, uh, Bradley Cooper and uh, just all these people who you look up to and you see on TV and you're like, wow, and that. And, and then actually you're just in the same room as them and they're regular people talking about what you want to talk about. It was just so much fun. I had an absolute blast um, and I love BAFTA. Um, BAFTA, BAFTA, BAFTA. I love BAFTA. I love BAFTA. One thing I think is really important that I've learned from this pilot season, January, is being available. So I got a job um, last year that potentially would have meant that I would be traveling out of LA for a lot of January and February. And when I got the job, I didn't, I didn't really have anything going on. So I was like, oh, I need, I need it. It's fine. What I've since realized and what I'm really grateful for is um, when things started to pick up, I realized that that wouldn't be viable. It's not a wise idea for me to be traveling out of LA during January and February, some of the busiest times for an actor to be in LA. So luckily I um, ended up freeing up some time and because of that I've had, a, I've had the chance to audition for some incredible, incredible projects. Also, I thought I'd share with you all um, a lesson in or my thoughts on positive thinking and your attitude and what it comes down to is it's like actually having the belief that I am good I'm a good person I'm talented I know what I'm doing and I couldn't I used to say those things but I never actually used to believe those things and it even wasn't until recently that I believed believed does that make sense? If I believed that I would actually, I will actually be a successful working actress. Since I've had that belief, I mean, so many wonderful things have happened. So I just say to anybody out there who's um, watching, who wants to kind of take their career to the next level and do some stuff, is really ask yourself, do you believe, do you really believe that you can do it? Because if you don't believe you can do it, you are not going to do it. If you don't believe you can do it and you really want to do it, work on finding the belief. Because as soon as you start believing that you can do it is when everything's going to happen and I am an example of that. And another thing that I just wanted to share with you that I tweeted about recently is um, I started saying to myself the other day that the universe is conspiring to do me good. And every time I stress about something, I just say, the universe is conspiring to do me good. It's going to work out. It's going to work out. And funnily enough, everything has worked out fabulously. 
I hope that helps. But anyway, love to all my friends and family. That's the whole purpose of these vlogs. And hopefully I'm coming home in April for, for my friend's wedding. And I'm going to catch up with everybody and see everybody because I do miss England just a little bit. Um, so hopefully I'll be back to see you all soon. So love you. Bye. Bye.